Yeah. Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kawe. Joining us is Achara Kirk. Hello. We're going to look at Marvel's The Punisher trailer <laughs> number two for Netflix. Here we go. Gentlemen, I'm the only authority you will need. Oh, I, I point, that. you shoot. <laughs> Did you kill the target? <laughs> Things over there were different. What we were doing was wrong. You did what you were supposed to do, right? Now, the only person you're punishing is yourself. Frank Castle? I got something I need to show you. Rest of the video files. The US military turned you into a hitman, Frank. I'm looking for Frank Castle. The Punisher? I think he knows about my case. Castle's the last witness. We can either clean this up or let him take us down. Make your way out to get to me. I can remember any day. You have nothing but a war inside you. You can't take You stay in my way. This is not your fight. Kill His outfit looks cool. Yeah, it's really good. So where does that end, Frank? What if you're supposed to be? These men, they decide what the truth is. The same thing that happened to you happened to me. We could make that right. I like this trailer better because it told a more compelling story. Mm -hmm. The other one was more just shoot him up. Like, you get it. I mean, I'm, a, I'm familiar with Punisher from previous iterations. iterations of it. I also had a Punisher pog when I was a kid. I didn't, oh, know, really? I didn't know who Punisher was at the time. Is this I cool? had no idea. It was just a cool looking pog. For those of you who don't know what pogs are, I just dated myself really badly. <laughs> this has me way more interested than the previous trailer because it was more focused on what's motivating him exactly. and what he has to endure. Like he's up against all odds. I like that aspect of it. Yeah. I mean, I guess you kind of know that from the other trailer, but in the other trailer, he just looked like a badass ripping through people with no challenge. Well, I think the other trailer, it seemed to indicate that it was because his family had been killed and that was why he was, uh, you know, seeking retribution. Well, that's still here. But it's still, yeah, this is still here, but I like that there's this other layer of him grappling with his guilt over what he did you know, in when he was in the military, yeah. you know, he was following orders, but morally it was wrong. So right. you kind of get those different layers to him. So fun fact, the villain, Paul Schultz, he is actually from 24. He played Jack Bauer's boss in the oh. first three seasons of 24. And I met him at Starbucks. And what happened was he was sitting behind me while I was with a friend. And I turned to him and I go, were you in 24? And he goes, yes, I was. I'm like, cool, I, I really like the show a lot. I turned away, I'm like, conversation's over, right? And he goes, so what do you do? I'm like, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, I gotta be interesting now. I, I wasn't planning on this. I, I just say hi and bye and that's it. So we had a conversation for a couple minutes and he was a really, really cool guy. They made him look like a real dick, but he's good at playing those guys. Yeah. He's really good at playing that asshole. So I wasn't, entirely expecting him to be the coolest guy in real life when he was. Speaking of which, I saw some interviews of John Bernthal and he's a super chill guy, but he was talking about his experience with researching the Punisher and uh -huh. he was just getting stacks and stacks of comics because he wanted to get the character right. And he went into a store in New York or something like that and it had just been announced that he was playing the Punisher. And so he goes in the store and his guy's just kind of looking at him like with this serious stare and John is like, What's up? And he goes, don't mess this up. Do not mess this up. And he's got this stack of comics. He's like, you're not buying this. You're not buying this. This is what you're buying. You're not buying this one. You're getting this one. These are the comics you're going to read. Don't mess this up. I'm like, damn. Wow. That, like, Jesus Christ. He looks great at as the Punisher. I buy him Yeah. completely. And the costume looks 
awesome. Yeah, I was gonna say the costume looks really good. It it wasn't exactly what I was expecting because in my mind. I'm always expecting the simpler kind of cut off arms shirt with just the skull on it. It looks great either way. I can totally get behind this seeing that he's like a really well developed character. He has a lot of different things going on underneath at the same time. It just makes me more intrigued. Yeah. As opposed to it just being a, you know, Oh, I'm so badass, I'm just gonna kill everyone. This is like, oh, he's got he's got motive, he's got pain that he's working through. It just makes him so much more interesting. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and I like that Nirvana music. <laughs>